Ruchim Habaim, welcome everyone. Decided to do a short little video on Elul and the Parsha. Um, well, as we know, Elul, Rosh Chodesh Elul, is this Shabbos. And so I thought I'd just read a little something here from Nifla'ot Torah, the gigantic little secrets of the Torah. Pretty awesome book here. And I'm just going to read. It has a, a number of questions and awesome, awesome little gems here. But I'm just going to read the question number one. It says, why do some start blowing the shofar at uh, Rosh Chodesh Elul? And so we go to the answer here. And it says, uh, a minhag of the Ashkenaz is to remind us and alert us daily of the coming of Yom Hadin on Rosh Hashanah. As it says, uh, Could the shofar be blown in a town and the people not tremble? And this is from the book of Amos. And uh, in most years, Rosh Chodesh Elul falls on Parsha Re'e, which is this Parsha right now. And this is hinted to by the Rosh Tevos, uh, the initial letters of Re'e Elul Hayom of Re'e. So if we actually go to the Parsha here in Parsha Re'e, which is Devarim chapter 11, verse 26 here. So we see here it says, Re'e anochi no sen lef nechem hayom bracha u kalalal. It says, See, I present before you today a blessing and a curse. So here Moshe is speaking. And what the gigantic little secrets say is the first letters of Re'e, Resh Aleph He, really stands for Re'e Alu Haba. So, what is this? This is Re'e Alul Hayom. That see, Alul is coming. I mean, Re'e Alul, uh, re alul Haba. See, Alul is coming. So, this is also Alul. Alul usually starts with Parsha Re'e. So, we have to be aware and see what's before us. A, a blessing or a curse. And so... This is a time where we have to wake up and prepare ourselves before the new year, Rosh Hashanah. And so another interesting thing here is in Parsha Re'e, it says, See, I present before you today a blessing and a curse. And the rabbis say, how can Moshe Rabbeinu say, I present before you today a blessing and a curse? Really? Moshe? Isn't Hashem supposed to do this? And it says, Re'e Anochi. Anochi isn't the usual way we say I in the Hebrew. It's usually Ani. But here it's Anochi. And the sages say that really this is a hint actually in uh, Rabbi Zalman Zoroskin in the Insights of the Torah actually says here. Let's see here. I present Anochi no sen lefnechem. I present before you the humblest of all men surely did not claim ownership of the blessing uh, and the curse. Perhaps this use of the word Anochi is an allusion to the one who said, Anochi Hashem Alehecha, I am Hashem your God who has taken you out of Egypt. So Anochi really refers to more of a, could be an example of God. And the rabbis actually say, even in the Mechilta and the Orachim, it says that, this is like saying, you see me, you see God, Re'e. And so, even though Moshe was giving the, the command here, it was as if Hashem was speaking through Moshe. And even the, the Milchilta even says that Israel needed Moses, and they understood that he was the embodiment of, of Hashem, but not, not that he was God. And see, so it's like saying, you see me, you see the Father. And this is something that's not new or invented 
by Yeshua when he said, you see me, you see the Father. As we go to the Brich Hadashah here in the book of John, it says here, uh, Yeshua said to him, I've been with you for so many days and you, Philip, do not know me yet. The one who sees me sees the Father. And let's see here. Look what it says in the Hebrew. Ha ro'e, ro'e, o ti ra'a es ha'av. The one who sees me sees the Father. Re'e. So I really believe that Yeshua was really just quoting back from the Torah. And so this is a real understanding of a lot of Christians think, well, when Yeshua says, you, you see me, you see the Father, as if Yeshua is God. But that's not the context. We have to bring it back to the understanding of Torah. This is not something new. The, the same thing the sages say about Moshe Rabbeinu and HaKodesh Baruch Hu. And so, that's just a little gem I thought I'd share with everybody. Hope you enjoyed. May everyone have a good Shabbos. And please continue to like and share my videos. I, I thank you for all those who support me. And the next Zoom study will be on Brachos 2B. Uh, so yeah, have a good Shabbos.